Hello. In this video, I'm going to talk about the mechanism of allylic bromination, and I'm going to talk about a very specific variation called the wool ziegler bromination, which uses n cinnamon and uses a radical initiator. Uh, the mechanism is slightly different if it's done with UV irradiation instead of a uh, radical initiator, but we're going to talk about the radical initiator version. Uh, since we have a radical initiator, we have a peroxide initiator. A peroxide initiator is going to do what we expect it to, undergo homolytic cleavage. Radical arrow. Undergo homolytic cleavage. And we're going to generate two alkoxy radicals, which is the behavior we expect out of our radical initiator. And like all the reactions that have alkoxy radicals, there's actually a second initiation step because the, the alkoxy group does not end up in the product. set up here. Uh, the alkoxy group ends up abstracting the hydrogen to make the allyl radical that we need going forward. Ooh, there we go. My radical and the, the other product of this step is a molecule of alcohol, which, which now is done. Okay. Now we move into the propagation steps. Notice we haven't, we haven't even gotten into the enbromosic cinnamon yet, but we're about to. Uh, Now that we have our carbon radical, our first step is uh, first propagation step involves abstraction uh, I do not like the way those arrows look and, and if you've been watching my videos, you know I'm really peculiar about my arrows. Here we go. Uh, there, that looks better. I like my, my fish hooks and my fish hook arrows been outside of the curve. So now we have our cyclohexene, bromine. So here's our product. And the other thing that has formed is the succinamyl radical. And so now in the second propagation step, we need to have another, uh, we, need, we need to get the, oops, I don't wanna move this, I just wanna copy it. We need to get, oof, I'm having trouble with copy and paste for this video. Uh, we have another hydrogen abstraction using the succinamyl radical radical the way I want it to want it to look like that and we're gonna go make another uh, allyl radical and we make as our as our other product in this step a cinnamon and so there's something really interesting about this reaction, which is the product of the reaction is formed in the first propagation step and not the second. Uh, in other medical radical mechanisms we've talked about, the product of the reaction is formed in the second propagation step. Uh, this actually forms in our first propagation step. And then the second purpose of the second propagation step is to uh, generate the next allyl radical and to generate the succinamid. And uh, one way to be able to track 
the, the progress of this reaction is that the succinamide byproduct is usually insoluble in the nonpolar solution that you're doing. Uh, and then this kind of uh, radical reaction can terminate by any of the types of processes that we, I've talked about in other videos, including uh, coupling, elimination, and, and so on. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to present the other mechanism, the one that happens without the radical initiator, but with UV radiation. Uh, since it doesn't have the initiator, the initiation step, of course, is going to change. Uh, and the propagation step actually changes a little bit. These propagation steps can occur, but there's some other stuff that can go on. All right, so thank you for watching.